Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it's time for a weekly track roundup where I give my thoughts and opinions on some songs that dropped this week that I thought were good and maybe also not so good. But regardless, they're all linked down below. So check them out for yourself. Uh, they're down there along with our Turntable Lab link. We get kicked back from that when you decide to uh, buy some vinyl over there. Decide to do so because they, you know, have a cool selection and stuff. Uh, also down there is a link to our Patreon page. Support us and what we do in the process. Get some bonus monthly content. We have a classic album live stream coming up soon. So uh, if you jump in now, you'll be in time for the one that we do this month and, and you'll be able to watch the uh, ones from the past months too. Uh, we also have our newsletter linked down below. Join up. Don't miss a single thing that we're putting out every week. I know YouTube is not always the best delivery mechanism for all that we do. So uh, yeah, don't miss a post. Don't miss an upload. Don't miss an anything. It's uh, all dropped into the newsletter. All right. Worst tracks of the week. We have a couple. We have a few. First off, a new one from Mike Patton's Tomahawk, which is a, a really rough revisit to some groovy, dark 90s alt rock, terrible vocals on the hook, which uh, instrumentally is rough as well. Um, just don't really know what the, uh, the, the band saw in this one. This one needs some severe retooling in my opinion uh it does start with a dark uh, very uh, i guess a, a foreboding intro almost like the kickoff of an alice in chains song but then it goes into a, a much more unenjoyable place uh then from there we have a new one from mario judah the dude mario judah where is he i i don't no, but I Cannot Love You is the name of this new track. And while I do enjoy his passionate vocals on the song, and he seems to, you know, still be attempting to find this uh, common ground between, um, you know, these uh, melodic metal, modern metal style vocals and uh, trap instrumentation, uh, the, the production and mix really could have used some work on this one. The bass is oppressively loud. The vocals are mixed awfully. There's little to no balance to the sound of the song. And it's really short, too. I don't think it's one of his best written tunes either. So I don't know. Just kind of seems like he's not putting his all into this one, in my opinion. We need better material. That's uh, going to be my uh, parting words on this one. All right. Let's head into the tracks that I thought were meh. Not amazing, but not awful either. Certainly worth a nod and a shout. You might like it more than me, so pay attention. A new one from Royal Blood. Uh, wasn't thinking I would like this one, but, you know, it's got a thick mix, some heavy bassy riffs. Kind of sounds like if you took a Death From Above 1979 song, but, you know, made it so you could play it in a biker bar. You know, it's, it's kind of how it goes. It's rocking. It's rocking. Uh, the <laughs> title of this one is uh, Typhoons. All right, uh, Psychedelic Porn Crumpets, this new track of theirs, Puke Box, reminds me of like some of the Australian psych we have been hearing uh, here and there as of late, but a little heavier, a little more crushing. Vocals aren't anything to write home about, but if, you know, if you're into that style, give it a listen. All right, Melvins, they have a new one out. It's a pretty heavy, groovy, almost like thrashy track. Obviously, uh, huge sludge metal vibes, too, given the, you know, their roots and their background. Uh, some of the vocals, especially on the chorus, were a little rough, in my opinion. But uh, outside of that, it's a decent cut. Uh, the Great Good Place is the title of it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Go back. Go back. Joey Badass. Uh, he's got a new one, Let It Breathe. It is smooth. It's groovy. Production from Static Selecta. It's got that classic New York vibe, some good bars here and there. Nothing like new or, uh, you know, stupendous or groundbreaking from Joey, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Chai is back with a, this new track that sees them bringing their music into a very synthetic and dancey direction. Action is the title. Don't find it as thrilling as, you know, some of the more rock oriented stuff, but um, it's decent for what it is. I think uh, I would be open to hearing more songs in this direction if they were to find ways to, I guess, you know, take a quirky or production uh, approach, I guess, next time around in, in the same way that they do, you know, their rock oriented tracks. Uh, going from there to this new a DJ Scheme track, Buck 50. It's uh, made it onto the deluxe version of his latest record. 
and it's a fine posthumous juice track. You know, it's got a cool guitar solo on the back end, a few decent vocal lines, uh, nothing as amazing as like the highlights on, uh, you know, Juice's posthumous record. But, you know, if you're a Juice fan, give it a listen. All right, and we also have uh, one of the biggest drops of the week, this new collaborative cut from Billie Eilish and Rosalia, which is uh, uh, Lovas Olvidar, which is, uh, you know, set to be on the uh, HBO series Euphoria. And it's got a vibe, some immaculate production. It's very pretty. It's very spacey. It's very atmospheric, but, you know, uh, very flat in terms of structure. And the song is just kind of okay. I, I'm sure the piece will sound very pretty soundtracking whatever scene it's set to but outside of that I, I don't find it to be a very strong song nor is it like really fireworks on the collaborative end either uh, I'm so sad is the new one from 303 and uh, I don't know as, as corny as it is in some respects I kind of feel like I, I vibe with the self-criticism angle of the track it's a little self-deprecating I guess and uh, in certainly one of the more self-aware songs I think 303 has ever dropped Give it a try. And uh, let's move into the best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those two. Ba -ba -ba bam Starting with uh, uh, this new one from Weezer. All my favorite songs. All my favorite songs are slow and sad. Uh, sees uh, <laughs> Rivers writing a stupidly catchy, sad tune uh, set to really Baroque instrumentation with a great balance on the mix. I am liking the mix on this one quite a bit. Uh, almost like they're kind of, you know, throwing it back to some uh, <clears throat> Revolver or Sgt. Pepper's like era Beatles, that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's that Baroque. Uh, we also have this new one from Madlib over here. It is spacey. It's dark. It's a little trip hoppy too. Loving the bass line on this one. A lot of very really, uh, odd, again, dark and abstract sounds packed into this beat. And uh, just goes to show how creative still Madlib is uh, this deep into his career. And I love how this uh, particular album or single art just freaks me out. It looks like an eyeball looking at me up close or some shit. All right, uh, moving on from there, Kieran J. Callanan, new one from him, Dumb Enough. It's a jangle pop banger, which I guess is a, an older track from him that is now seeing the light of day. Uh, seems to very obviously be reflecting on all the controversy that he went through, you know, a few years ago. Uh, it's quite fitting and beautiful and uh, compelling, in my opinion. Uh, we have this new one for, uh, from, from Josiah over here featuring NASCAR Allo. It is a grimy, noisy, hyper-aggressive, trap-punk Rager, loving it, loving it, loving it. It's totally in your face and gnarly as hell. Uh, oh, Hobson over here. Yes, Hobson made it into the best category with uh, this new single of his over here, which, believe it or not, it's uh, titled Your House. It's not cringe at all. It is not cringe at all, in my opinion. Yeah, instrumentally and some of the vocals on the hook are very like MMLP era Eminem, but outside of that... Uh, I like the flows. I think the narrative and the storytelling of the track is really compelling. And as far as the angle that he takes on this very sensitive topic that, you know, he has personal connections to, um, I think, you know, he's he's really measured and thoughtful and self-aware and actually like gives good advice. I feel like Hobson all like always puts himself in this position where he's trying to critique some larger or societal issue or some problem that somebody else is suffering. And then from there, he comes off really judgy and gives awful advice and perspective. But I, did, I didn't find that to be the case at all on this track. I thought this track was actually really moving, thoughtful, and uh, one of his best to date, period. I legitimately enjoyed it, and I am not fucking with you. All right, uh, Cosmo Pike. Shout out to Cosmo Pike on uh, uh, this title track to this new EP that uh, he's dropped. It's a, a beautiful horn back tune that is uh, quite dynamic. Reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, some Archie Marshall stuff, but, uh, you know, with his own twist on it. I've been digging into it, and uh, I'm, I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. Cosmo Pike. Uh, Cosmo Pike hype. Uh, moving on to uh, Kosha over here with this new track featuring a uh, shy girl lap dance from Asia. It's sleek. It's smooth. It is sensual as hell. Give it a try. Give it a shot if you've been digging, you know, the Shy Girl stuff that uh, I've been uh, uh, platforming and have been, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, shoving out there as, as high quality as of late. I think you're going to like this, too. And we have this uh, new one from Chill Pill featuring uh, Salimia or Salima, excuse me, and uh, Rico Nasty. It is a, a bubbly 
colorful trap banger with good melodic lead vocals, awesome verse from Rico, and like oppressive hits of bass. It's uh, incredible and energetic. And uh, here comes the sun, new one from Bill Wirtz. It is a beautiful, uh, intricate, and I guess dizzying a new multi-phase ballad from Mr. Wirtz. Awesome to uh, have him back on the YouTube platform, dropping new material with it with an awesome like 3D you know music video. Loving the animation on the uh, new music video too. But the the track I think reflects it a lot in terms of just how dynamic and confusing it is. It's it's beautiful. It's wonderful. And uh, last one I believe we're shouting out here from uh, Arca Madre. It's uh, this wonderful, long, expansive. Uh, <laughs> art pop opera piece that uh, is is quite a uh, chilling and uh, uh, gorgeous and and dark and strange I'm uh, liking it quite a bit and this sword looks like the sword from that that one the garden album cover <laughs> did Arca borrow that sword from the garden album cover uh, I'm, I'm just noticing that now but w- whatever uh, but yeah this rules this this fucking rules and uh, looking forward to potentially some more material in this direction i don't know i guess we'll see but uh but that has been the weekly track roundup everyone hopefully you guys got some good recommendations out of this video again all the tracks everything i talked about linked down below so if you're curious if you want to try anything for yourself that's where it is and uh, i will see you in the next video the next review the next everything okay bye